up YouTube, it's Sugar Amber back again with another video. And welcome to Five on Friday. So this is my new segment that I was talking about in my last video. So wait, pause. If you haven't seen my last video, what are you doing here? Exit out, go to my last video. Watch that one, the whole thing, then come back. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So yes, guys, it is Friday. Well, it's not Friday today, it's Thursday. But I'm gonna be posting this tomorrow. So this is Five on Fridays, and today's topic is basically, I just wanna give you guys some knowledge on epilepsy. So as some of you may know, um, I I don't wanna say, I don't wanna use the word suffer, because in Jesus name I don't suffer. I have epilepsy and um, I didn't have it from birth. Like a lot of people, they, I wasn't in my nose, I was scratching my hair, but a lot of people um, that I've encountered and that my neurologist was telling me about, they say that they had seizures when they were younger and they stopped when they were about like 12. Or some people started when they were about 12 and stopped when they like got out of high school. Mine, um, it happened when I was 18. <clears throat> That's when I got seizures. So, just, I'm gonna be giving you guys some um, tips. So which vitamins to take. These are the, vit I have everything written down because I, I wanna make sure I cover everything. The vitamins that I take, um, ways that I use, to calm myself and a couple ways that I don't that I um, actually looked up um, things that have some triggers and some yeah some triggers to, that may make your seizures increase or make you even have a seizure and then um, yeah so let's start with the vitamins that I that I take and that you should take if you have epilepsy or if you know anyone share this video I just really want um, this five on Friday this one is going to just be about you know giving you guys some knowledge on what I know about but let me say this I am NOT a doctor I do not have a doctorate degree I am not a doctor these are just tips that I'm giving you do not have to take my advice it is my advice from me and then the things that I got from the internet I will state but do not, I am not a medical doctor. I am not telling you to do these things. These are just ideas. If you choose to do it, you go right ahead, boo. But me, Amber Phillips, I am not a doctor. Got it? So the vitamins that I take are B6, magnesium, and vitamin E. You guys can do your own research to look up the health benefits for those. Also, changing your diet can help you um, not have as many seizures. Because, like, I know... Uh, I hear a lot of stories some people they have like over a hundred seizures a day they have some people have like 20 seizures a day like they have a lot the most seizures I the, the most seizures I had in a day I think is when I had like four back to back to back to back to back um yeah and I don't know why i never really know why like sometimes i um i'm like stressed out so stress can cause a seizure for me personally stress um not eating enough over excitement uh, but i'm gonna get into that so um change your diet people say i seen on the website on um i just googled some triggers to see if we if i have the triggers that google named or whatever um and then I, it cop, it was like a little ad and it said something about the keto diet and how it may help you. I've never tried the keto diet, but hey, if it helps, you guys could try that. Um, so now let's get into the ways I calm myself from having a seizure because sometimes I can feel like a seizure coming on and I'll like pray my main thing is I pray I talk to God you need to have open and clear communication with God look if you don't believe in God this channel is not for you okay I love God you don't love God what's wrong with you <laughs> but yeah I talk to Jesus every day talk to the Lord tell him all about it Jesus is on the main line tell him what you want and I want the Lord to help me I have to calm them down hey some people 
or I, I don't know like I used to think that having seizures like was like God like was like punishing me but like what if it's not like a punishment maybe he allowed me to have them to spread knowledge to you guys to help other people to show them that they can still live a normal life just like I do anyways okay so yeah let's go into the ways that I used to call myself I pray um I meditate I go on walks fresh air is really really good um and then this is what I've seen online sniffing a strong odor but that kind of makes sense because it'll trick your brain to like not focus on the seizure because when you have seizures it's just like your brain is just doing too much so you end up having a seizure basically and um so i kind of get why i said i'm gonna try that um if i ever have a seizure hopefully don't. but yeah um oh and literally just telling the seizure no that's what i do when i'm in my prayer <clears throat> say i'm i feel like i'm having a seizure it'll usually start like for me personally it'll usually start with like an eye twitch so my eye will be twitching looking like that i'm not gonna like do it because i don't want to scare you guys um you know looking i don't know it's like so weird i like lose control of like my brain I, like i don't have control of my brain basically my body just starts to do whatever it just sees fit <clears throat> so i can feel it sometimes because my heart will start beating really fast and then i'll just like have this really weird feeling that i just cannot explain unless you have epilepsy then you'll know i'll say no in the name of jesus lord please in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal me, Lord, take no seizures. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I'll start saying, I'm telling the seizure, like not thinking about it, like I'm telling the seizure no. So I, I get, this was listed on um, epilepsyfoundation.org. That was listed on there, literally telling the seizure no. So I, I do that and I didn't even know. So that's one. And also I wanna say there's no guarantee that the things, that the ways that I just, the things that I just listed, like ways to calm yourself, from having a seizure will work there there's no guarantee um it may not what works for me may not work for you what works for you may not work for me so these are just tips and tricks and these are just me giving out information like i said i'm not a doctor i'm gonna keep saying that ain't nobody about to sue me i'm not a doctor these are just ideas and thoughts that i wanted to share with you so <clears throat> marijuana and seizures me personally i do think marijuana helps it calms the brain and i see changes i am over the age so i do i'm not encouraging you to use to use up uh use epilepsy i'm not encouraging you to use marijuana if you do decide that you want to try that speak to your doctor speak to your parent and be over the age of 21. If you're not over the age of 21, you should not be drinking, you should not be smoking, none of that. Talk to your parents. If you feel like you can't talk to your parents, talk to a counselor, talk to that cousin, talk to someone, just don't do it alone. Because you need to make sure that you get a doctor's prescription, you need to make sure you're going to the right places. Don't just be trusting anyone's strand of marijuana because you just never know. So be smart <clears throat> and talk to your parents or your guardian or whoever you know yeah so research showed that marijuana has not been linked to seizures but it it, it it they did show evidence of cannabis controlling the excitement in the brain and that is very true because um <clears throat> if you know me you know i'm like obsessed with disneyland and i love to go to disneyland like i love disneyland so much but i if you know i get a little overstimulated so i have to you know maybe take a little um edible or they have cbd oil mixed with a little tea me personally it's cbd oil is not strong enough by itself so i get the cbd oil that's mixed with the thc and it's like a tincture and um it helps me but i also don't overuse it overuse it don't you know be out here just getting baked baked anyways don't be out here you know be smart do your research be over the age of 21 talk to your mama or your daddy whoever is your guardian if you're not over the age of 21 Boop. so yes 
It can calm the central nervous system. Studies have shown that is also from y'all do your research i'm not about to like sit here and give y'all a whole biography whatever you know and then another thing did you guys know that being a woman just being a woman and being on your menstrual cycle can cause you to have a seizure like i also i already don't want to be a woman but me you know being a natural woman having something that's so natural that happens to every woman happen to me every month so every month i have to you know stay be real like what's the word i'm looking for real cautious to not have a seizure because i'm on my menstrual cycle like like being a woman is not hard enough like having having cramps is not hard enough not to deal about i have to worry about like having a seizure maybe be simply because of something i can't even control <sighs> So yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, missing your medication. Don't miss your medication. Oh, that's what happened to me. I missed uh, my dosage before. This was like a couple years back when, um, you know, you should get one of those little pill things. They're really, really helpful to put your medication in so you don't um, miss your dosage. Okay, so yeah, along with um, missing your medication, that can help, that can cause you to have a seizure, flashing bright lights or patterns, um, abusing drugs and alcohol, and then sometimes, well, I heard my neurologist told me abusing drugs and alcohol, but then when I was on the um, epilepsyfoundation.org, they said, sometimes just drinking alcohol not even like drunk just like drinking it can make you have a seizure me personally that doesn't happen maybe if i were to get like you know belligerently drunk that would it would probably happen but i don't plan on getting belligerently drunk i'm not gonna get belligerently drunk so yeah not eating well eating too much or not eating enough not having enough fluids in your body and having low blood sugar all of those can cause you to have a seizure. So make sure you're eating right and just like doing the right things because having a seizure is the worst. Oh, it's literally the worst. I hope I'm helping you guys with these tips because you know, when I first found out that I had epilepsy, I was like kind of sad. And well, not when I first found out, when I start having seizures, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, there's something wrong with me like this is crazy am I gonna die like ugh, you know so I really wish I had someone who's doing basically what I'm doing like giving tips and tricks because not everyone just thinks like not everyone just knows so it's, I'm happy that I'm making this video and I really hope that I help somebody um with this video so also the last um thing that I'm gonna mention is not sleeping enough disrupted sleep or getting scared out of your sleep i know sometimes you know people want to like do pranks and like scare you but if you know someone who has epilepsy try to be a little bit more careful on like pranking them and scaring them because it could be something super super funny like you know you're just joking around but you could one little joke can cause them to have a seizure and you can you know die from a seizure so not trying to scare anyone just want to be real with you guys so yes guys that is all the the uh, ways and, and all the information I have today that's all the information I have today on um, this video on this topic um, I do want to end with this if you or you know someone in your family or your friend group or whatever who has epilepsy and they are on the medication Keppra one of the side effects for medic for um, the Keppra medication um are like mood changes and sometimes we get a little snappy and we get a little angry especially if we're you know if it's that time of the month try to be a little bit more sensitive to us because and we're very yeah like i said we're very snappy charge it to the game and not the heart because if you notice if you knew someone before they started taking the uh, the Kepper medication they weren't as mean and they weren't as snappy 
and I know that like I can be a little snappy and a little mean to my family members and if I've ever done that to you guys I do apologize I love you guys from the bottom of my heart it's my medication it's not me and um yeah just be try to be a little bit more sensitive but also you know check us like hey you're being you know a mean person stop that and people don't be blaming everything on the medication because everything don't be the medication. It sometimes it do be the medication. Yeah. But we are sometimes on the fence because then it's like, ooh, is this the medication? Like I have this one cousin. Every time she gets mad at me, she freaking I oh, was the medication. That doesn't make us feel good. So don't also like blame it. Like, you know, when we're like feeling if we're for instance acting out or whatever. Or doing something that you don't think we would usually do if we weren't on the medication um don't say that because that doesn't make us feel good we all we already don't want to have what we have so we also don't want to be on the medication and some people they're only off their own they have different medications you can take um for having epilepsy but me personally i choose pepper because it doesn't mess with any of my organs and yeah, I don't have to like do all the things that you would have to do for the other medications. If you want to know what the other medications are, Google is free. So yes, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this five on Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment and stay tuned for next Friday because okay, you're not going to want to miss who I have in store or what I have in store. So like I will always say, I'm just a brown girl in a real world. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down what you want to see on these five Fridays. Um, five on Fridays. If you like this, if you didn't like this, if you have any more information, if you think what I said wasn't smart, if you think I said wasn't true, comment down below. I want to hear from you. Also, follow me on my social media. Like I always say, in the description box down below. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Bye. Material, I want Chanel 9 boots. Saw this nigga said he